Hello, and welcome to episode two of In the Oven. Uh, we're back with Hades. Um, probably going to be the game that I'm spending the most time on the series on for now until I can get into something else and, you know, figure out what other games to play and all that kind of stuff. But um, today, I'm going to be going with the Spear, uh, which I actually just leveled up to the Aspect of Achilles, which gives you your special a, a little bit of a cooler effect. So, like, with... The first one, you know, you have your normal attack, you have this little dash and throw, or you have your spin attack. Well, when you go into the aspect of Achilles, it's kind of the same, except you actually can do a little dash, and then you do, like, 50% more damage for a short amount of time after doing so. Which, you can still do the, like, the backstab portion of it with throwing it and pulling it back, or you can just dash to it. So, and then you still have your spin attack and your dash attack. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, I only have one thing left on Zeus's prophecy, so I'm gonna be trying to get that. So I'll be using his ring, and let's let's go ahead and get this going. The spear is one of my favorites. It's definitely in my top three. So I am excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So, with this weapon, I'm going to be using the special more than just about anything, for the most part, depending on what builds we can get. So I think this uh, special causing the 30 extra damage. So, I mean, this basically gives you a teleport, which is sweet. More wretches. And you can still do that, you know, like I said, the backstab recall if you want to. There are definitely certain, just shreds, uh, definitely certain builds that you can do where you benefit way more from doing the backstab stuff. And as I said before, if you level it up in the mirror to where your damage from the back does more. That's, that's nice. Yeah. So getting that extra 30 damage every time we're doing that is awesome. And with rooms with more enemies, that will start to chain off too. But, I mean, we're pretty much one-shotting everything right now. Go ahead and level that up. Feels pretty good. And let me make sure I'm... So yeah, after your special, you can retrieve your spear with the Raging Rush, and then you get 50% bonus damage for the next four attacks. It's pretty good. So you're going to be able to, like, dash to the enemy and just beat him up. Or you can still just do... Which, right now, is going to be taking out most enemies. And you can kind of see now where, like, already why I like the spear so much. Because it's so versatile. Like, it has the long range. Or you can just, you know, also just dash through and beat everybody up. 
And it still does, you know, pretty decent damage. This and the shield are probably the two most versatile weapons that I have been able to use. Nice. Um, the level up of the Fists of Malfon is another one that I use a lot. Um, the reason that I, I like that one is it, uh, the power-up is called Mag Magnetic Cutter. So you actually pull enemies to you pretty much no matter where they are. As long as they're smaller enemies. The bigger ones don't really get pulled. But Give me... Thank you. Yeah, you things are annoying. But this kind of works in that way too, where you're just kind of transported to an enemy. Also kind of helps you get out of some tight spots. You can just kind of, you know, throw it away from all the enemies. I like that a lot. I like it. All right, get some more Zeus. Which is good. Zeus is what we need. Ow. Ow. Sit here and say, like, it's good to get you out of tough spots, and then I just sit in the middle of six bombs. Hmm. All right. That was bad. That was real bad. Okay, so electric shot, your cast does chain lightning. Uh, the jolted, which is nice. Or call. The call is nice because you get, like, you basically get the power of Zeus. Um, from the last video, when I had the duo where... Zeus was raining down all the lightning. That's what he'll do for you. Which is funny because if you have one of those type of power-ups and you use it when the god is like fighting you, they get mad at you and it's funny. But um, I'm going to go with the Jolted. Getting that extra damage every time they attack you, it feels pretty nice. I understand you, Master Thanatos, and will be doing as you say. No more questions <coughs> for Prince Agnes. Hmm. So Sisyphus helps you, but he gets yelled at a lot for it. It shall be both our skins if you are caught in one of your deceptions. See to it that this doesn't happen. But he's also like, I'm already in eternal hell, so what worse could you do? Hey sir, can you believe the nerve on that one prince? He's nothing but a blowhard, so I simply tell him what he wants to hear. He can't stop me from helping you besides. I'm dead already. What's he going to do? So, yeah. And we'll go with the healing here. Certainly, Highness. Thank you, mate. Uh, I did do the, the stubborn. I kind of respect all of the stuff, which you can do for one key. Um, but... I, so I have the, the stubborn defiance now. So instead of just having the one time oops, um, yeah, the one time revival that heals 50% of your health, I did where it does 30% of your health every chamber. So every room you have a respawn. Be able to clear out some pretty nice rooms there. So we have a lot of gold, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some stuff. 
get a nice little health boost here in a minute. Ah, okay. Didn't get to see one of these on the last video. So this, they just... He just spams a bunch of enemies at you. Which, since we're not in the lava world yet, is kind of nice because we can just go wherever. And I believe you get more gold the more of these that you beat up. There's also times where Thanatos, the guy that was just talking in the last room, shows up and you have a race to see who can kill more. And with these ones, you don't have to actually kill everybody. It's just a, a time trial. Just survive the 45 seconds and you get your thing. Okay, so there's a shop where we will more than likely be going to because we have all kinds of money. Yeah. And we could use darkness, but <clears throat> I think the shop's going to do us better right now. As we're still in the early build. Okay, cool. So we can just do it all. And we get Ares. Um, dashing, creating a blade rift is pretty nice. It's the least damage of all of them, but you also get the two dashes. So now, yeah, that just stays there and just rolls around and does 10 damage the whole time. So we'll go with that. Ooh, the hammer. Yay. There's a few power-ups that I don't have for this weapon yet. And we get one of them. So your spin attack deals 125% more damage and hits a larger area. That's pretty good. Uh, I do like this Vicious Skewer a lot. So your special does 50% damage or extra damage and a 50% chance of crit on recovery. But like I said, trying to Perfect. trying to do all the that fun stuff. Um, nothing I really care about here. Yeah. Like, the darkness could be good, but I'd like to try and save up the money in case we run into another shop, which, of course, there is one here. Um, since there is one there, maybe I will just go ahead and get the full heal and all this stuff. Might as well. Oh, just get a free one. That's nice. Alright, so here, your cast is the Burst of Lightning. Does 81 damage. That's pretty good. Zeus's Aid is nice. Lightning Reflexes. Um, let's do Zeus's Aid. I think that gets us closer to a better chance of hitting the... Uh, the last power up that we need from Zeus. Selecto. Ah, it's Electo this time. You know, oh, I know it was Electo last time too. Retrospect, I should have known this wasn't going to be a quick job. They say both gods and mortals are notoriously poor at estimating how long it takes to get anything done. <laughs> Normally, when I'm on the job, they grovel, then they scream. They shut up eventually, but not you. At least. Not yet. Very tassy.
Okay, that was real nice to have. She may end. Well, if I would stop running myself into spikes. Being faster is definitely helpful. That was bad. Caught myself right into those blades. There we go. That was bad though. Should not have done that. All right, on to Asphodel. Yeah, barely made it out of that one. I'm interested in seeing like how much more valuable having that Death Defy every single time will be. Um. Yeah, we're still working on Zeus, so we'll we'll keep that up there. And yeah, running a little low on health, so doesn't hurt to do all that. And these are the little check marks are like if you've already beaten it, beaten that level with the current weapon, it shows you what you got from that. Um, when you go back and beat them through afterwards, then you just get the darkness. Having the blade rifts for these guys is pretty helpful. Ow, ow, ow. And as you can see, the spear has a pretty hefty range. Like, you can stand back decently far and still hit these people, which is nice. Whew. Still not looking great on health, but. Okay, so this gives you sturdy after sprint and you move a little bit, or dash after, after yeah, I saw the sprint duration, sorry. You get sturdy after dash and you move 100% faster for half a second, uh, which sturdy is you just take 30 less damage, 30% less damage, and they can't be interrupted. Or after using a call, you can you gain dodge chance and move speed for 10 seconds, which is pretty good. Or your god gauge fills up 1% every two seconds on its own. Um, let's do let's do the dodge chance because that'll be pretty nice. I can't really afford to do chaos. Um, so we could go Aphrodite here, see if we can't get a duo, or we can power something up. Let's see. So the only things that would, that could be powered up are like the Static Discharge, Thunder Flourish, Blade Dash, and the Aid. Which might not be terrible. Yeah, let's go for the palm. Uh, the weak effect from Aphrodite can be really good, but I think this will end up benefiting us more overall. Now. 
uh, those little orange circles that pop up after you clear like the first wave of enemies, if you stand in the middle of those, it sends out like a little smoke cloud. And I don't know if it can damage you, but it sure is annoying. Okay, so we can do eight more damage on the special. Uh, we can do 20 more damage on our calls, or we can do what, 36 more damage on the jolted. I think we'll go with that. Which way? Ooh, okay, so this is to get more health. It's a little like mini wave thing, but. As long as we can fully survive here. There we go. So we'll get 73 health back. That's pretty good. Good enough. All right, so we have another one of those double rooms where it's Zeus and Ares. Or we can get some coins. The double boons could be really helpful. Yeah, let's go with that. We'll pick Zeus first and then deal with the Wrath of Ares. Yeah. And there we go. There's that double strike that we've been needing. So now we got our prophecy fulfilled, so we'll have that when we go back. All right, Ares. So now with that double strike, all of our things that deal lightning damage have a chance to hit twice. Like, it's not going to happen 100% of the time, but... It will happen often enough. Might not have been the best idea. <laughs> Didn't expect uh, to be taking this much damage. Okay. It is not often I attempt to kill someone and they survive. Bravo. Our score is settled up for now, so let us carry on as friends. Okay, so. I don't really want to replace the Thunder Flourish. Uh, this just does a blanket 10% buff to all of our attacks, which is really nice. Purr. Or the Blade Rifts last longer and they kind of vortex people in. I think the 10% the extra damage is going to be really nice. So now we have another Zeus or an Aphrodite. Let's keep going with, or not Zeus, Ares. Let's go with Ares. See if we can kind of get his stuff filled out. Unfortunate. 
we can get the Gorgon dead pretty quick, that'll be nice. There we go. There we go. Why, thank you. Alright, so... We can get 22% more damage after we use the Stubborn Defiance, which is where we come back. Or we can give our attacks Doom. Uh, I think I'm going to give the attacks Doom, because Doom does that... It hits them for that extra 75 points of damage every time that we hit them. So, that will be nice. And since we're primarily just doing our normal attack once we get that special buff in there. Guess I get a break. Alright. Get some more Eurydice. Eurydice. How long have you been down here anyway, if you don't mind my asking? Seems like you're pretty settled in. It's quite a lovely place. How long have I been down here, huh? Huh. I don't have the faintest. You lose your sense of time once you're a shade, or maybe once there's not a sun or moon over your head. But yeah, I found myself a decent spot and fixed it up a bit. Okay, so we have four boons that can be upgraded. So... Hmm. We can either upgrade two boons to the next rarity, which is pretty decent, or we can give four random boons up a level. Let's do the next rarity. Coming right up. Hmm. Alright, what did we get? Okay, so our double strike now has a 30% chance to hit twice. And after call, we gain 33% dodge chance and move speed. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that. Now we get Hermes. Hermes? Hermes. Definitely still not great on health, but this is where I think the Stubborn Defiance comes in more handy than... Oh, well, if I would attack the right way. Comes in more handy than the Death Defiance. Doom and Jolted, so, you know, we hit them with our lightning, and hit them a couple of times with our attack, then next time they go to attack or move, they take like 100 points of damage or something stupid. There we go. See what Hermes will give us. We do have, I think, one to get from Hermes as well, but I don't remember what it is. Okay, so we can make our special faster. That's not really going to help us out all that much. Gain a bit of wealth. It's a little late for that. So I think we're just going to do where the God Gauge goes up automatically. Uh, let me see. Do I have a shop? I do. So we're actually going to wait on buying anything because there we go now we just got the 15 gold so we can get another boon or if say there's a palm of power and a health upgrade they're not upgrade just the, the thing of health then we can use that so won't get anything from the well this time Okay, so how much will this heal? 66? That's pretty decent. I wish I could do two things, but... It is not possible. Hmm. I don't think I really want Aphrodite either. We'll, we'll heal the 66. Sorry, buddy. 
that will will get out of the fire. Will hopefully give us enough to beat this Hydra. Get back in the magma and no one gets hurt. <laughs> Love how we're trying to intimidate. A lava hydra. I gotta make sure to beat those right now. Okay. Yeah, we're taking some unnecessary damage here. Gotta stop doing that. Should take, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Might be able to survive this. Still not looking great, but. Nope. <laughs> we didn't even die to the Hydra, we died to Skelly. Or, yeah, a skeleton. Uh, that's rough. That's all right. It happens. Oh, I'll get all right. Hydra. Show off a couple things here. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> welcome to the House of Hades, and thanks for dying. Achilles on break, I guess. <laughs> no Achilles this time. No Cerberus. See if I can't. Uh, Get something nice here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, that's all right. Do want to? Oh, here's what it was. I guess this came to pass. Yep. So we get our 150 there. See how close we are to the others, because I'll be working on these as well. Yeah. So for Hermes, I just need rush delivery, which is pretty good. For Dimeter, I just need Glacial Glare and Frozen Touch. And these are, oh, these are the Legendary Boons, which take a while to get. These are all the duos that you can get, and there's a lot of them, but they're really cool. They're pretty helpful. And then, you know, these are the different, like, upgrades that you can get for your weapons, which, as you can see, I only need two left for the Fists which I'll be using here in a couple episodes, and then two more for the spear. So, yay. All right, well, that will be the run for this one. Oh, I do want to give this nectar to Skelly here. All right, go. So he's getting pretty close up to the max there. Which is good. Sure could go for somebody just wailing away on me right now. <laughs> Skelly's a, a fun little character. All right, so the next video will be the shield. Shield is another one of the top three. Uh, these are the fists that I was talking about. This is probably my favorite one, especially with that magnetic uh, upgrade that I was talking about. Which I'll show you that here real quick. I'll get to more of it in the actual playthrough with it, but. So it pulls to you, does 20 damage when you do that, and then you deal another, you know, couple hits on the way up. So yeah. But next video will be on the shield. Uh, thank you all for hanging out. If this is a series you like, let me know. I'll definitely continue to do it. Um, I'm going to be playing it on my own regardless anyway. So if it's something you guys like and I can play it for you guys, then that's just even more of a benefit. Um, outside of that, you can catch my streams on Tuesday and Friday. It'll be a mix of magic and Hades and Among Us and stuff like that. 
Um, also part of a D&D group every other Sunday, ran by Friendly Plays. Um, also during these streams currently, I'm running the Extra Life campaign. I'm part of the Mana Combine team. Uh, just goes to help out the Children's Miracle Hospital Network, Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. There we go. So, yeah, if you're looking to to help with that, with the donations and all that cool stuff, then feel free there. I'll have a, a link to that down below in the description, as well as my um, podcast that I am a part of that comes out every Monday. I'm actually part of a lot of projects now that I think of it, but yeah, I'll have descriptions for all of that down below. So yeah, if you like the videos, let me know, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff, and I will see you all next week. Have a good week.